Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be making a energy ball. So to first start out, let's add a ball into our scene. We're going to use a UV sphere. And let's right click and shade smooth. This is really it for our geometry, so let's add a material. Go to material properties and let's add a new material. Energy ball. All right, so first off, let's start making the lighting for our ball. And we don't need the principal PSDS, let's delete that. And let's add in a texture coordinate node, a coronoid texture, and a mass node. Generate it to our vector and then see what this looks like. This is the Fortnite texture, just a default texture. Let's change this to power right after the Voronoi. And then if we increase the exponent, we can get the these lines here that resemble lightning. All right, and then let's make this transparent. So let's add in a emission, transparent PSDF, and a mix shader. And then the mix shader, connect it to the factor, connect these two. Then we to go in our properties on the render method to make it blended mode. Okay. Now let's change the color to greenish. And increase the strength. Also another thing we want to do is uh to get the good right colors. Let's go to our render properties, go to color management, and change this to standard. Okay, so now the other thing that we can do is that these lines are too sharp. They are just more looks like hexagons than lightning. So we can add some noise to this by adding a noise texture. Let's connect the uh, texture coordinate to our noise texture. And then we also need to mix these two together We're using a Mix color. Let's connect the noise to mix color. All right, let's change this to overlay. And uh, right now there's too much color. Um, let's just lower the color a little bit. Right around there is good. Now it looks more like lightning. Uh, let's tweak the Voronoi texture scale a little bit. Two point five is good. Then another thing that we can do is um, if we want to animate this. We can add in a vector mass node. Before the Voronoi texture, and then we can move these values to make the texture move. Okay, so that's the lighting effect. Next, we want to add in a outline to this. So to do that, let's put in a layer weight node. And then a color ramp. Connect the facing, a color ramp. And let's see what this looks like. All right, so the black parts can be transparent and then the white parts can be outlined. So let's tweak this. All right. 
guys. We want uh, we want a smoother pull off. So let's change this to be spline. Okay, that would be our outline. So we want it to be a different color than our lightning. So let's copy this these shaders. And connect the color to the factor here. And let's look at this. We don't want white, green. Let's make it blue. All right. And the white part is a little bit much. Not like this. Okay. All right. So now we can. Now that we have our outline, let's mix these two together. Let's duplicate this mix shader and just mix them together. All right, so we have our lightning plus our outline. All right, so we don't want the middle of the energy ball to be hollow and be transparent like this. So let's add in that make it more some to make it more solid let's copy this color ramp and add in add the linear weight to it let's look at this change this to flip this we want the outside to be transparent and the inside to be not. So let's flip the colors around. Okay. All right, that looks good. And another thing that we can we want to do is we don't want it to be like a perfect circle. So let's add some noise to it. Let's add another noise texture and then mix it with a Okay. All right. So we want uh, we want this to be the fat there, and so that way only the middle part has noise. And so also we also want to have some vernoy and the noise. So let's use this vernoy. First, we have to have a another mix color connect these two all right let's add it put it all the way all right so let's see how this looks like in color just this part Let's wait for us. Okay. All right. We also have to add mix this in. And we also need to change this to linear light so it's not. All right. Oh, we don't have to add everything in. 2.5 is good. Alright, so there's like some cloud effect in the middle now. Lower this. Instead of making this one please spline, let's make it ease.
Okay. Too high. Okay, that looks good. And also, when we animate the lightning, we can also animate the inside too if we connect this vector math node to the noise texture. And when you move this, noise also moves. Right now, if we want, we can also add in a smaller ball in the middle of this. Um, so to do that, let's add in another color ramp. Connect the facing. And to mix it, we will use another mix color. And to add, add these two together. Wait for it to load. All right, so now add just to one and we'll just make this smaller and change it not to complete completely black like around a little bit less than black Into the cardinal. Okay, so that looks good. All right, so now when we animate, what it looks like, then we could just tweak these numbers here. Cloud, less cloud, less waves. Also, let's change this to a little bit upper. All right, and there you have it. Here's the energy ball effect. Hope this is helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.